Hi, I'm Natasha Leonard, a high school student, and I'm here to tell you about Sarasota School for Social Justice, a new charter school that is geared towards social justice. What is a charter school exactly? A charter school is a publicly funded school that is operated by a private nonprofit corporation. You know what I want to know? I want to know what is Sarasota School for Social Justice? SSSJ is a proposed charter school that will serve students in grades 6 through 12. Uh, we'll start with probably grades 6 through 8 and grow um, by a grade a year until we have grades 6 through 12. So a secondary charter school that is going to be focusing on civil responsibility and leadership, including conflict resolution and anti uh, prejudice training, anti-bias training among students in Sarasota. What makes Sarasota School for Social Justice so unique? Why should people want to go there? Sarasota School for Social Justice um, would be a model for the 21st century. We intend to engage our students in active peer leadership. There's actually a leadership council through the Board of Education that meets in the city's uh, chambers at the uh, City Hall every month. and. It would also be an opportunity for our students to interface with other colleges. There are a lot of colleges in the area, especially New College, where they can actually work on projects together. One of the goals was to have a peer mediation program established with the seniors, a senior level at, at, at high school, and then partnering with college students for college credit as well. And that would also allow the seniors to be involved in the dual enrollment program. That's down the road. That's just one example. Um, but another reason I would say is there's no kind of school like this in Sarasota County or Manatee County. Uh, they do have a school for um, arts and sciences, but nothing with a focus on social justice. But what is social justice? Social justice is a, a concept of leveling the playing field for all people. And we believe, both in our hearts and also as a policy, that every person has the right to become a leader in his or her own community. So many students don't even have the opportunity to do that because they've fallen through the cracks academically, or maybe they have a language barrier or a learning disability or they just do not do well in a traditional setting. And our belief is that we need everybody to be trained and to be educated in order to be an active participant in their communities as well as a leader. Mm -hmm. And we also believe that education is the key to providing opportunity in an equal fashion, which is really at the heart of our American Constitution and our society uh, it, itself. Uh, however, not everyone truly does have the, the same opportunity, maybe because of a different learning style or a different ability level. Uh, that person hasn't developed uh, leadership capacity and yet has every ability to do so under the right circumstance. And we would like to be part of creating that circumstance. Why the focus on social justice? Why not something else? And then we had a school shooting down on Main Street in 2010 with a student from a military academy and a student from Sarasota High School because one kid didn't like that the kid was having, I guess, a, a Confederate flag on his truck. And rather than decide to talk about it, he decided to shoot him. So that really brought the attention to the area that there are problems that need to be dealt with. Now that we're on the topic of social justice, just exactly how will Sarasota School incorporate social justice? We are going to be partnering with Micro Society Incorporated. Hello, my name is Caitlin Dowling and I'm speaking to you from Micro Society Incorporated's headquarter office here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Micro Society is an international nonprofit that brings innovative, real world based learning environments to schools across the nation and the world. These learning environments are student built, student run societies in which they directly connect classroom instruction to their real world. The purpose of Micro Society is to involve students in the design and management of an actual miniature student society focused on motivating children to learn by involving them in the connections between classroom and real life. 
Emerald City. The name of Thoreau's Micro Society is complete with an array of student-run businesses, courts, and government-owned services. One of the most important aspects is that everybody is somebody. Micro Society is a way for us, we've all been in classrooms where we have to ask ourselves, why do I have to learn this? Why am I doing these things? Micro gives kids the answers to those questions. Students spend the last hour of each school day going to work in their jobs or taking their day off and shopping in the market center. Students learn what it is to handle money. The Emerald Thoreau's currency is used to pay taxes, buy and sell products, order supplies, and even take a class to obtain a food handler's license. I like that you're able to spend money on your day off and you get to learn responsibility and managing skills. You gotta learn what how to manage your money, because if you spend everything, then the, your next day off, you're not really gonna have nothing. So you gotta really manage your money. These are the values that we share with the Sarasota School for Social Justice. And it's because of this alignment that we commend their vision and look forward to working with them in the future. The micro society concept is so important because it gives tools, practical skills for kids to know that when they graduate school, if they don't have a computer and they go to the store, they can know how much change they're going to get. Or if they want to buy a car, that they're not going to get ripped off for the interest that they're going to have. These are all kinds of things that are about social justice, even prejudice that they've done on um, evening interviews showing certain people going to look at apartments and not being able to get them because of the language they speak or the slant of their eyes or the color of their skin. By using the Micro Society program, we'll be able to allow students to develop leadership skills and entrepreneurial skills that they'll need to be adults someday in their own communities, but not just passive adults following the policies set up by other people, but really helping to create those, those policies. Uh, so one way that we will you know, be really unique in the way we do it is through the partnership with Micro Society and in addition um, with other organizations. Now, we know that Sarasota School for Social Justice is focused on social justice, but are there going to be regular classes for the students like math and science and social studies? Stuff like that. Oh, absolutely. That's what's so wonderful. You have to infuse social justice into the curriculum. In other words, like I gave you an example before, well, we have to fl follow Florida uh, Sunshine State standards, which is a given. But when you infuse a curriculum, like if it's, if it's a school for arts, then you have poetry, you have dance, you have all different m methods of art. With social justice, you have that in the curriculum. Well, how does somebody come up with the concept of Sarasota School for Social Justice? I mean, do they really know what it's like? Well, after you hear from both of them, you will realize that they, they, have, some, they have a lot of experience in they're not being an equal playing field, and that's why they fight so hard for other students, other individuals, to have an equal playing field. And like I, I, I dropped out of high school and went to summer school to get my credit so I could get out because I didn't enjoy high school uh, as, a, as a teenager, and I, I didn't appreciate having to be in that big crowd of people who were really interested mostly in sports and popularity contests. That is for some people. My own sister was very much into that, and she did great in that setting, and I, I did not. So I really have compassion for students who may be really smart or who just may not really want to play uh, the game that way. So not everyone learns the same way by sitting in a traditional classroom. I'm one of those people. I have great um, compassion for students who say, why do I need to know this? What difference is this going to make in my life? Because I was one of those students. But in terms of whether we have a school uh, leader who understands how charter schools work and who can uh, really attest to the benefit that the charter schools can make in the community, I would like to assure people that we have uh, over 12 years of experience. Now, the school that we started in 2000 and actually opened in 2001 is in Palm Beach County uh, and it, it is still running after 12 years and it has made tremendous difference in the lives of the young people that have attended here. I can uh, tell you so many stories and, and uh, among them is a young man who was very uh, depressed and even angry and often on the verge of dropping out of school 
would get up and just walk out of class at the slightest provocation. Um, sometimes would, you know, just exhibit behavior that would normally be considered just inappropriate. But I saw something in, in, uh, in him that I was not willing to give up on. And, and that's one example of a student that uh, no matter how many times got written up or teachers would say, listen, we cannot keep uh, this particular student in the school, I knew that he had potential. And I began to work with him individually over the years. And one of the proudest days in my life was when uh, he graduated. And it was against all odds because he had his father, by the time he graduated, a brother who were in prison at the time. And I just knew that if we did not give up on him, that he would make it. And I recently ran into him in the street, and he is, uh, he's not a college graduate, but he is gainfully employed. He is attending some classes, and I would not be surprised uh, if he becomes in the future a college grad. But the point is that this student who looks like a person that uh, is, is nobody has pride, dignity, he is an example that a uh, person that everyone else has given up on can, uh, can uh, really come through. Charter schools are very, very important. Social justice is very important. A lot of people don't have an equal playing field. And schools such as this one will level out the playing field to teach individuals how to be productive members of society. So they won't be running around robbing your car. They won't be robbing your house. They won't be robbing and stealing things from your business. Instead, they will be working for you. They will become productive members of society. The way that it's so good for the whole community is that these students who, are, who could potentially fall through the cracks in traditional schools will, as a result of this program, become productive members of society and contribute to society in really meaningful and good ways. From this whole entire thing, you can garner that Sarasota School for Social Justice will be helping you out in the long run.